Alrighty then, my little bald eagles, it's time for us to get started in our journal. Here our instructions ask us to please watch this teacher video to draw, color, and label USA symbols. How many? Four. So let's get started and set up our journal with a four square. We did this the other day with our four symbols of Texas. Mine are right there. I'm going to use the next page here and do almost the same thing, but not Texas. Here we have U-S-A. What does U-S-A stand for? United States of America. You got it. Let's write that title here on the top line, just like we did with Texas over there. Find your top dotted line, and let's give a capital U, a capital S, a capital A. Here I go. U. S. A. Finger space. Sim. S Y M. B B B. Bowls. Symbols. Everybody, check your title. Do you have capital U, capital S, capital A, USA? Symbols. Now, when we're using an abbreviation, we're going to put little periods. U stands for United. S stands for States. A is for America. Now, just like we did the other day, let's put a box around that title. What did I forget up top? I know you will remind me. Don't forget to have the date. 3, 8, 2021. Now it's time to organize or separate our page into how many symbols are we drawing today? Do you remember? More than two, more than three, less than five, cuatro. Give me a line straight down the middle. Then give me one more line across that top line. Perfect. One, two, three, four. Title and date. Now here are our four labels of our four symbols that we will be drawing today. Read them with me, please. United States flag. Beautiful. Statue of Liberty. Bald Eagle. <gasps> Finally, what's that say down there? Liberty Bell. Ding dong. Let's add our four labels. Then we'll go look at those pictures one more time and make sure we get the details and the colors right. All right, first symbol, first label. United States flag. Repeat it and write it with me. U -ni -ted, United Finger space. St -st -a -t -s States. United States. <laughs> oh, ag flag. Check your first label. You've got three words. Oh, trying to get this right for you to see. United States flag. Next box, next label. Statue of Liberty. St. A. Sta. T. -t U. T. U. Silent E on the end. Statue. Finger space. Of. Finger space. Liberty has a capital L. It's part of her name. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. So far we've got United States flag. Statue of Liberty. Today's date. USA symbols. Two more to label, then we're ready to start drawing and coloring. Moving on down to the bottom boxes. I need a bald ah, eagle. B, 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 all, d, d. Check this word, tricky B and D. 
B, bald, bald, finger space. E, A, E, A, G, 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 O, E, eagle, bald, eagle. Finally, our last box, capital L, capital B, in liberty, bell, li, b, er, liber, E, liberty, finger space, bell, B E L L. Everybody, check your journal. Do you have four labels, a date, and a title in the middle? If not, you need to pause here and get your journal ready. If you have all of these things, let's go start looking at symbols so you can draw them and color them. I'm not drawing for you today. You know what to do. We've done this before. While I'm explaining and showing, you are using your pencil, using your crayons, and adding details. Our first symbol today is the United States flag. It's in the shape of a rectangle. It has 13 red and white stripes. And how many stars? Good memory. 50 stars for those 50 states. You'll need your blue, your red, you don't have to use a white crayon. Pause the video and add your picture, your illustration of your United States flag in your first box. When you're done with your flag, let's move on to the Statue of Liberty. Remember, she is a woman standing tall, 300 foot tall, made of copper, that brown red metal, but now that she's aged with the weather and the rain and all of the elements, she's turned kind of a greenish blue color. In one hand, she has a flaming fiery torch. In the other, she has a book, a tablet with the laws. At her feet, there are broken chains to remind you that she is free. On her head, check it out. She has kind of a crown with these spikes. And she's wearing a flowy robe or a type of dress. On her feet, she has some sandals like flip-flops. Pause here. Add your illustration of the Statue of Liberty. Moving on, next we have oh, the bald eagle swooping to catch that fish. In your third box in your journal, you will need to draw this large bird special for North America. Look at all of these brown and black feathers, large wings flying in the air. But on top, not really bald, with white feathers on its head. A sharp, sharp beak and sharp, sharp claws. Pause here and illustrate your beautiful, strong, bald eagle. Finally, we've made it to our last symbol, the Ding dong, Liberty Bell. Remember, it is a three foot tall bell made of copper. Again, that red brown metal has a large crack. They rang it so many times it's for our freedom from Britain and to end slavery. You can show it here on this wooden kind of rack, kind of handle, and make sure you include the detail of the crack. There's also lots of letters and writing here on the bell too. You can come and look at these pictures up closer in your slides if you need more time or need to see something again. When you are done in your journal today, you will have one, two, three, four beautiful and colorful pictures just like we did with the Texas symbol flag. Texas symbols. You'll have all of your labels. You'll have your title and your date. When you are proud of your work, you've taken your time, send a picture to your teacher in Google Classroom. Don't forget to click turn in when you're done. After that, with your free time, go on to Pebble Go. Pebble. Remember to click first social studies. Down to the bottom, there's that eagle. You are then check out all of these amazing symbols of our country. Thank you for working and being patriotic with me today, my U.S. citizens. I'll see you tomorrow to learn some more fun stuff. Adios, amigos.
Thomas Jefferson Memorial, White House.